Enter the Red Hats by Michael Baxter April 6, 2024 A decentralized coalition of active duty and reservists calling themselves the Red Hats have claimed responsibility for the anomalous 4.8 magnitude earthquake that rocked the tri-state area early Friday morning, a source in General Eric M. Smith's office told Real Raw News. Saturday afternoon, General Smith received at his home address a letter supposedly authored by a former protege of General David H. Berger, General Smith's predecessor. White Hats are withholding the author's name until they verify the writer's identity and claims. The context was straightforward. Obama and Biden's people, the deep state, are not responsible for Friday's earthquake. We are. Who are we? You've embraced a nickname coined by civilians, White Hats, a color that symbolizes nobility and purity. You can think of us as Red Hats, a color symbolizing strength and blood and war. Blood for blood. We have no quarrel with you, and in fact we fight for the same outcome. The annihilation of corrupt, perverted, elected, and appointed officials that started fucking up this country the day Clinton was sworn into office. You and I, General Smith, are gladiatorial warriors, but we have diametrically opposite ideologies. Your forerunner sat idly by as an election got stolen under his nose. And you, you who picked up the mantle, and your friend at Guantanamo Bay, lack the wherewithal to do what must be done swiftly, efficiently. If you can't do the job, we will. You're my brother-in-arms, and we won't impede your progress if you don't interfere with ours. If we resolve business before you do, let it be. In either case, justice, constitutional justice, will be served. Know this, my friend. We are fewer in number, but what we lack in numbers we have in determination. And we are all around you. I'd ask you to unite with us, but I know enough of you to know you're gritting your teeth while reading this. Now, let me explain why we acted, and maybe you'll understand, part of the letter said. The author, without providing evidence, claimed that the deep state had recently constructed a hadron collider, like CERN's 27-kilometer ring particle accelerator, in New Jersey, and planned to use it to open a portal to a dimension bursting with malevolent apparitions whose power the deep state sought. It doesn't matter if the collider does what they think it could, it was dangerous and had to be destroyed. That they secretly finished it mere miles from where President Trump and his family spend so much time was not a coincidence. It was a message. On my orders, my people infiltrated the underground complex, located the device, deployed the necessary ordnance, and destroyed it before the deep state could bring it online. The letter ended. The author signed the letter symbolically, Colonel Walter Kurtz, the main antagonist of Francis Ford Coppola's 1979 film Apocalypse Now, which is based on Joseph Conrad's novella Heart of Darkness. Below his name, the author put a blood-stained thumbprint and postscript saying, No war is won without collateral damage. In addition to the letter, the envelope held photographs of the U.S. Army Rangers who had been sent to investigate the earthquake as they were surveilling the FEMA and ATF agents. While we were watching them, someone was watching us, our source said. Obviously, the person who sent the letter isn't named Kurtz, but if the letter passes the smell test, the guy we're talking about is just as dangerous and dedicated. General Smith does not condone the methods. General Smith, he added, has canceled all leave and recalled assets. We asked our source whether the letter's author was ever a member of the White Hat Council. I can't really say any more right now, he said.